Hello and welcome to my channel and blog. It's Ruth here from Artful Stampin'. Today we're doing a One Sheet Wonder Wednesday and using the Bloom by Bloom stamp set and these gorgeous, very pastel-y colours here. So One Sheet Wonder Wednesdays is where I basically stamp a whole sheet of cardstock and then make something fabulous out of it. So here I've placed the two st stem stamps uh, onto one block to make it a bit quicker and easier to stamp a whole load in one go. Then placed two of the flower stamps at the top of the stems and then picked it up with my block and because they're going to be in exactly the same position as the stem, the top of the stems each time I stamp it just makes life a little bit easier. So I do recommend that you do that particularly with the two step stamping style photopolymer stamps. It really does cut down on sort of stamping time. Now obviously you're watching a sped up version of what I did and the whole process I would say probably took me about 15 minutes once you see what else I make out of it. So here I'm using the beautiful pineapple punch colour yellow and this stamp set really reminds me, this stamp, sorry, reminds me of dandelions. So pretty. They look like they're sort of floating around. Then here I've placed lots of the little stamps together on one block. Again, just to save time, because if I was to stamp all those little individual stamps out, it would have taken much, much longer. Don't forget to also use the stamping off technique. Uh, sorry, not sorry. second generation stamping, not stamping off technique, um, where you stamp and then stamp again and stamp again. With a photopolymer you can probably get away with doing it about three times with this depth of colour. So when I finish stamping out, and as you can probably see I concentrated my pattern around the middle of the cardstock because we're going to be making some boxes and uh, it will kind of all explain itself when uh, I've done all the scoring. So here I jotted down exactly where I was going to score and we're going to be making a little box and the width, the kind of widest portion of the box is 4.5 centimetres. For those of you who work in inches it works out about one and three quarter inches and then the side of the box measures three quarters of an inch. So you can, when you see me make it you'll probably be able to figure it out. So here I'm scoring at 4.5, then moving it along, 6.5 and so on. So if you go back and uh, just freeze the video, you'll be able to write down the measurements. I love this trimmer for being able to do this because it makes life much easier. You're able to kind of see the numbers as you're moving the, the cardstock along. So then when you finish scoring with the paper in position of landscape, turn it round so it's in a portrait position and then score at 8.5 centimetres, cut at 10.5, then cut at, sorry, cut at 10.5, then score again at 2 centimetres. So there it is cut and then remove your cutting blade out the way and then score again at 2 centimetres. Then go back and cut the card at 14 centimeters. So then burnish the edges with a bone folder so that they the card knows exactly what it's supposed to do and then trim the just the small little edge pieces off the bottom of the corners and then the little piece at the side that doesn't need to be there because you're going to be gluing the sides together. So then get your glue and just adhere the, the edges together. And then just fold in the sides and then one of the flaps and then fold over the other flap. So it makes quite a cute little sturdy box. And I've designed this specifically to hold little tea, uh, tea light candles in them. And I thought of a nifty way of trying to create a closure I use the three quarter of an inch circle punch. Now you could actually punch them out before you put the box together, but it seems to fit okay. 
And then I'm using the new butterfly punch and punched out two butterflies from the matching cardstock, coloured cardstock rather, so this is the petal pink. And I actually stuck the butterfly then onto the card behind the hole that I just punched. And that is what's going to hold the little bag shut. Then the other small butterfly I placed onto the bag and decorated it with a sequin. So as you can see, it's kind of holding it, it shut. And you can take it off, but I kind of warn you against doing that really. Let the person who you're giving it to do that because it's rather the tricky to try and get the butterfly wings back through the hole. It is possible, but they do tend to look a little bit folded and creased if you do do that. And that's what happened with my first one. And I ended up removing the butterfly because I didn't like the look of it and then sticking on a new one. So there we go. I'm letting you into my little boo-boo <laughs> mistakes and how to fix them. So I went ahead and then for me, uh, put all the other four to three together and put different coloured uh, butterflies on them to show you how you can match the cardstock and took some pretty photos for you to see the details. So if you would like to purchase any of the products that I've shown you today, please head to artfulstampin.co.uk and follow me on Facebook, uh, um, Instagram and Pinterest uh, to get more inspiration. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.